Justice Sucks is a stealth action game about a killer robot vacuum cleaner on a quest for vengeance through a 90s style TV universe. Stalk your prey, hack smart devices, turn them into deadly traps and consume the blood of your enemies to unleash devastating powers. But is it a killer game or does it just suck? Here's my review of Justice Sucks. She's alive! Alive! Hold on to your brain cells people, this is about to get trippy. Justice Sucks has one of the greatest and strangest origin stories I've heard this year. You play Dusty, a robot vacuum cleaner that gains sentience after fighting off burglars during a break-in. Dusty's family is brutally attacked by the Family Corp Warranty Squad and in the battle you're thrown into the living room TV. Your consciousness enters the TV dimension to gain the abilities you need to rise from the ashes and rescue your family. In an odd mix of Die Hard, Visceral Cleanup Detail and Metal Gear Solid, Justice Sucks is a surprisingly fun game, considering it's about a robot vacuum cleaner. The core gameplay revolves around the player moving around the world using objects in the environment to attack the enemies. Being small and flat, the player can easily hide under sofas, tables and units. Similarly, Dusty can use vents and flaps to navigate the map faster than its enemies. As enemies are damaged and eventually killed, the blood and meat needs cleaning up and as a vacuum cleaner, it's your job to do it. The enemies show their vision cones as they walk and with additional perks you can foresee their routes through the maps. As such you sneak around the levels dispatching the terrorists in an array of colourful ways. Once dead you suck up the body in one last final insult. The game spans various levels including a house, a ship and a nightclub. Each location has multiple game types to work through from rescue missions to missions focused on speed, style and endurance. The whole aesthetic is very cool indeed, from its eye bleeding visuals to its funk soundtrack. Even the UI sounds like it grooves as you navigate through each menu. The cutscenes are completely crazy and have some fantastic imagination behind them. Believe me when I tell you that this is the only game in which you'll see the spirit of a robot vacuum cleaner bounce a grenade off its bum whilst twerking on a rainbow dance floor. The enemies in the game feel like a cross between an 80s dance troupe and some Japanese neo-punks. They don't have much substance beyond that, but they do vary in type. Some have melee weapons whilst others have guns, and upon spotting you they will do their worst. As the game progresses, you will gain additional perks and buffs that allow you to charge enemies, throw items, turn invisible and many more. The fact that the game is so fun leads to its main issue, there just isn't enough levels. One minute I felt like the vacuum cleaner version of John McClane in Die Hard, then Steven Seagal in Under Siege, but soon you run out of levels and you have to go back to improve your time and scores for the online leaderboard. However it is worth noting that it was designed this way, as the abilities that you unlock later in the game mean that you can get far better scores when returning to the earlier stages. The variety of levels wow. is great, starting from your humble home and working through to an expansive airport. Overall Justice Sucks is way more fun than it looks in the screenshots. The sexy funk graphics and sound alongside its madcap storyline makes for a thoroughly joyous gaming experience. The gameplay mechanics work well and the variety of missions keeps it interesting. I would have loved to have seen more levels, possibly to have more office blocks, mansions, hotels all ready to manipulate, that would have been awesome. So hats off to Samurai Punk for making a worthy successor to the first test game, Rombo First Blood. So if this review has been useful then please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, ding that bell and I'll be back with another review very soon. Finish him.